Hey YouTube, Cyan here, and I do know this video is very late. I've been like swamped at work recently, so I haven't had that much time to sit down to record this. Um, I did record the the actual testing a lot earlier, maybe like two days after her release, I think. Um, but I haven't got time to actually record this portion until now. But today's video is going to be looking at Acheron's light cones. So as per usual, we're going to go and test all her light cones. This video is going to be a little bit different in terms of its structure. So I asked in a video prior to this, which I believe with Black Swans, where if people wanted me to showcase the stats at the beginning of the video instead of the end of the video. So we're going to be doing that right here really quick. So we're looking at my Acheron right now, which is rocking 130 speed, 60% critical rate and 168 critical damage. Honestly, these are like the worst stats I ever showcased for a character. Um, because I didn't have time to, to farm the set. It, it totally slipped my mind. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this is like two days worth of farming. So with due time, I'll have more time farm. Um, I'll have better stats. But unfortunately, I spent all my time farming the dot set last patch, which was 2.0. And it completely slipped my mind to farm for Acheron. But we, her stats aren't the worst. Um, this I mean, they're not like end all be all, but they're just not as good as I would like personally. So um, we'll we'll get better stats, but just do bear with me. I do apologize. Her stats aren't that great. Um, in terms of light cones, uh, if you want to see the traces, you can see those. Um, I am running her E1 because her stats are so bad and just to boost up my critical hit rate. I do plan on E2-ing her, so I will probably pull for an another copy sometime this week, if not next week. Now, for this video, we're not going to be showcasing every light cone. I know that sounds weird, but the problem with Acheron is that she does not synergize with half of these light cones. So I'm just going to go over each light cone that will be showcased and why are my fault, each light cone that will not be showcased and why. So we're going to be showcasing her signature light cone as her best in slot. We'll be showcasing in the name of the world, which is going to be Welch light cone. Kafka's signature light cone will also be showcased because I can see some people swapping out Kafka with Acheron because they want to have a lore accurate team with Black Swan. Before the tutorial mission does not work on this character at all. The effect hit rate is useless and the energy does not help her. So no point. Um, Eyes of a Prey will not be used. Effect hit rate and its damage over time doesn't help Acheron. We will be showcasing its showtime because it does work on her, even if the second portion, which is the 30% the thirty percent attack boost cannot be obtained with Acheron due to the requirement of 80% hit rate, but it still works. We will be using Fermata. One thing about Fermata is that um, this light cone is very hard to use. You pretty much have to pair her with Black Swan or Sampo or initiate a break at the start of battle to apply the shock. So those are the only ways of consistently getting it, but we will be showcasing it. Good Night Sleep Well will also be showcased. Incessant Rain will not be showcased because of the same effect hit rate being the main stat. While it does provide you 12% critical rate, that ain't worth it. And the Aether Code is not really gonna benefit her too much. It's more to benefit other allies. Um, it, you can apply Aether Coat and then follow up with her um, ultimate right after. But that's it, it can it can work, but I just I don't recommend it. Please don't do it. And for the last one, resolution signed at Pearls of Sweat will not be showcased. This is more to support other DPS and not, you know, her. I did consider solitary healing because of the break effect and it, it can but it is be realistic. It's not it's more for damage over time and then the energy doesn't work on her. Um, so yeah, it is S5 by the way, in case you like, why is mine not S5? I just never, it's S5, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's S5, I just, I'll do it when I need to. But with that, let's get to the actual game. Actually, I'm pretty sure people wanna see the other characters. So let's just showcase my other ones cause I will be showcasing um, Black Swan because I need her to use um, so with Acheron, you do need other characters to initiate her passive, requiring two or one Nihility character. 
um, two is for the maximum effect. That's a reduce with her um, E2. So this is Black Swan. And I'll be running uh, Pella for defense down. I wanted to showcase the maximum damage. I just made Pella a little bit faster than her. Not too much. And then we have Fu Swin. I use Fu Swin because I need the critical boost because I don't have a good enough critical rate on Acheron. So with this and her E1, we're looking at 90% critical rate. But now let's get to the actual gameplay. I weep for the departed. So, as you can see, the damage difference between each of Acheron potential light cones is pretty drastic when you compare it to her signature light cone. Even the closest light cone being good night sleep well, it's still over 10% damage loss 
keep in mind with good night sleep well it's a conditional light cone you do have to have three debuffs up at all times to maximize that condition and bosses with multiple phases clear their debuffs each phase you clear so there will be times where you won't have mm. it up at all um, you won't have all mm. three debuffs up because it just cleared its phase so you got to keep that in mind with that light cone but it's still going to be the best option for her should you not pull for her signature light cone what i recommend pulling for her signature light cone if you like acheron yeah you kind of have to unfortunately um at this point in time if you are a long game player like you're playing for the long game i probably wouldn't pull for it because yeah it's a good damage boost but to be honest i auto everything in this game before acheron you don't need the light cone if you want to be like a showcase like i want to show off my character you do need it though so keep that in mind if you have any questions about acheron or any questions in general let me know in the comments down below i did change up my structure for this video so i would like some feedback on this please let me know what you think i'm gonna thank you guys for watching this video and getting this far i'll catch you on my next video hopefully i won't be swamped with work next time and i can post the video a lot quicker until next time thanks for watching